Hey everyone, what's up? Alright, so I, I actually was wanting to make a video on the whole super straight thing. I know that I would be a bit late to uh, that bandwagon, but I had some thoughts about it, and I do have some thoughts about it, and I want to do a video on that. However, this topic came to it, to my attention like as, like not very long ago, just a few hours ago. Um... Apparently, Milo Yiannopoulos, some of you might remember him. He was a pretty uh, big, popular name, popular right-wing, you know, name back in the day, like back around the 2016 election, and a little bit after that, although, like, when the whole thing came out about him saying some kind of weird shit, you know, involving really his own trauma that he didn't really address or get proper help for, and him saying that, you know, like the shit about how it's 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 like it's not actually that bad if a thirteen year old he was really inserting his own trauma into he was inserting his own trauma into this argument that he was trying to make, and it seemed like he was trying to argue that for that it was fine for everyone, but. It, it, it was weird, and I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about, but it kind of got him uh, sort of shit-canned, and you kind of saw him fall into obscurity. And apparently he's been having money problems and debt problems and all this other shit. But recently, uh, apparently Milo Yiannopoulos has come out as an ex-gay. He is no longer a gay. He is free from the gay lifestyle, he is free from sodomy, and he is, you know, he's free from degeneracy, and, you know, all this shit. And then a more recent piece of news, which actually came out yesterday, uh, has told us that Milo is apparently planning to open essentially a conversion facility in Florida, and he's, you know, making his, you know, arguments about... Oh, you know, the, all these ideas about conversion therapy have given it a bad rap and all this other shit, even though it's been shown that conversion therapy is ineffectual and doesn't actually work, but, you know, keep living your dream, Milo. Um, and to the people who claim that ex conversion therapy worked on them, I mean, you guys as well, keep living your dream. Now, this really kind of, uh, it doesn't surprise me. Because Milo has always said some weird shit and has always had some weird ideas about his own homosexuality. Um, you know, and I think that could also spawn from, again, his trauma, the abuse that he suffered. You know, being sexually abused and molested, quite frankly, by a priest at a very young age. Um, I don't know what his life was like with his parents, but that could have been bad as well. So, you know, I think that Milo is honestly just someone who dealt with a lot of abuse and trauma in his life early on and never really addressed it properly, never got proper help for it. I remember he even made a video in the aftermath of when he made those comments talking about how, if I remember correctly, he talked about how he was like 16, 17 and he got with like an older man. Um, so just, just, it's... Even then, doing unhealthy, getting into unhealthy relationships and unbalanced relationships and whatnot. So, it's, it's, I can kind of see where, you know, Milo's attitude surrounding this and maybe his overall demeanor in some instances, you know, came about as a result of that abuse and trauma that he's went through that he hasn't addressed properly. Hopefully I made sense somewhat in saying all that at some point. Um, but like I saw, so like I said, I'm not shocked because of that because he has said some wacky shit about, Oh, you know, if I, if I would be straight if I could, or, Oh, he, I think he even said at one point that he chose to be gay or that he chose. And even like, even like recently coming out as ex gay, he's saying that it was like, it was, he exaggerated it like when he was out and about, but it, it's, it's really, it's really weird. I mean, who, who's to say that this whole ex-gay thing isn't just another, you know, 
show by Milo isn't just him trying to, you know, make one final attempt to get some attention so that way he can maybe pull himself out of some of this debt to, you know, by stirring up some attention and whatnot. I don't know. But, so, yeah, it's not shocking. Not shocking at all, but it is a little bit disappointing, and it certainly makes me lose respect for Milo quite a bit. Um, you know, Milo is someone that I've that I've enjoyed from time to time. I've, I've, I've always liked Milo. I wouldn't consider myself like a super fan of his. Like I've always been kind of half and half when it comes to disagreeing with him and agreeing with him on certain things. Uh, I always agreed with him on his critiques of feminism, intersectional feminism, definitely, you know, the third, fourth wave feminism, that kind of thing. I always agree with his critiques on Islam, you know, how he would, you know, it kind of point out the hypocrisy, you know, with, certain groups of people on the left who are very critical of religion, especially Christianity, but, like, won't touch Islam with a 10-foot pole because Islamophobia, you know, all that bullshit. Um, that, and him just criticizing political correctness overall, or the growing political correctness, you know, and certain aspects of social justice. I always enjoyed, you know, those critiques and when he would do that. And, and, of course, when he would, you know, make certain idiots mad, that was always entertaining. It's still entertaining to this day. Um, but when it came to other topics like religion, abortion, I mean, really the same issues that I would disagree with any other conservative right-wing commentator that I've enjoyed watching for the last few years you know, I would disagree with, it's the same thing with, like, say, Ben Shapiro, Ben Shapiro was someone else, and I know that, you know, I know that Ben Shapiro was very polarizing, and there's been a lot of stuff about him, especially within the last year, but Ben Shapiro, nonetheless, is still someone that I enjoy watching from time to time, I think he's a very intelligent guy, and I, I enjoy some of the things that he says, you know, I disagree with a lot of other stuff that he says, but that doesn't mean that I can't occasionally enjoy him from time to time and think that he's a smart person, and the same thing with Milo, but, but anyway, aside from that, you know, I've, I've agreed with certain things that Milo said, but other things not so much, but particularly with, again, with religion, he seems to cling onto Catholicism. He's Jewish, but he also, like, has this attachment to Catholicism, which there's nothing wrong with someone having their own faith and following whatever religion they want to, but... I don't know, it's just the fact that he was, like, molested in the Catholic Church by a priest, and yet he still clings on to Catholicism, it's just kind of fucked up to me, I guess, um, but, you know, religion, abortion, um, I, like I said, just, just other issues that I typically, same-sex marriage being another one, even though he did get married, so it's like, he said, that, I think Milo said that he was kind of iffy on same-sex marriage, he was leaning towards being against it, but he still ended up getting married, so you can't really say that you're against it, Milo. That would kind of make you a hypocrite. Although I guess not now, since you also claim that the person that you married has now been demoted to housemate, which seems pretty shitty to me, if I'm being honest. I mean, regardless of how you deal or don't deal with the fact that you're gay, that's someone that was your partner, that you loved, that you got married to and now you're saying that oh yeah it's over because I can't deal with my shit I can't accept myself for who I am I can't own who I am so yeah it's over it just seems really shitty to me I don't know that's just my opinion I don't know what the other person's perspective is I mean who knows maybe he's fine with it I mean I, I really don't know I can't speak to that but it just seems really shitty to me from that perspective but yeah it's just again, it's just, it's, and I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it's just, it's, it's, like I said, it's not really too surprising. It's just disappointing, you know? I mean, I know that Milo has always hung around, you know, some of the more religious sections of, of the right wing. I understand that not all right wingers are super, super religious and whatnot, because there's plenty of right wingers out there who aren't religious. Some right wingers out there who don't even give a shit about, you know, if someone's gay or trans or, some don't even give a shit about the issue of same-sex marriage, you know, some people might even support it, I don't really know, some people who are right-wing, you know, maybe they just don't give a shit about it at this point, I think that's really, the general sentiment is that it's really just a dead issue at this point, but, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's, 
disappointing. And I, I don't know, maybe the, the, the more religious, like I said, the more religious sex of right-wingers that he, <coughs> that he hangs around, maybe, uh, got to him, or maybe he was peer pressured or something, I don't know, but, I don't know, regardless, and, and I, I, you know, people would always say that Milo was like a self-hating gay person, um, and I kind of always, uh, kind of shrug those accusations off, where I would kind of just be like, oh, no, he's not, you know, he's a provocateur, he says a lot of, he just, he'll say shit from time to time, but he probably doesn't actually mean it. Now, there's always a chance that this whole ex-gay thing could just be another show, like I said. It could just be him being a provocateur once again. But if he's genuine about it, then the claims of him being a self-hating gay guy would definitely have a lot more uh, basis and a lot more credence that I would be much more inclined to actually be like, yeah, yeah, I can see why people said that for all those years. And if Milo is being genuine, then yeah, it is. it does kind of point to a case of just pure self-hatred on Milo's part. It's like, dude, it's 2021. Like, no one gives a shit. Like, 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 no one gives a shit if you're gay. I mean, really? I mean, there's some people who might still be stuck in the 50s and 60s and think it's still an abomination or whatever. But it's 2021. Like, most people don't even give a shit. Even people who are on the right don't give a shit. Most, I mean, you know, most people in general, regardless of, of political affiliation, really just don't really care that much. Like, what, what's the hangup? I don't really understand what, what the hangup is. I mean, you know, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it, it, but yeah, I mean, it, it really just strikes me as just being just self hating and, and just being guilty, you know? And again, if all that's if all the thing if all the things that Milo has said over the years isn't just him being a provocateur and is serious, then it is a very weird case of self-deprecation, like guilt. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's uh, it's just it's it's very weird. It's very it's a very bizarre take. But, you know, obviously if Milo wants to do this, if he wants to open a conversion facility, if he wants to do this and that, then he's perfectly free to do so. And if, and if he wants to do this, then, I'm, you know, I support whatever he chooses to do, just like I would support anyone else with, the, with what they choose to do with their own life. But it's just, it's like, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm still trying to, I'm still kind of just processing it. I mean, again... Shocking, surprising, not really. He's always kind of had a self-deprecating attitude about him being gay, about him, about being gay himself. But uh, disappointing, yeah, kind of. I mean, it's like he can't own who he is. It's like he's still trying to run from who he is to try to impress his, you know, some of his more religious right-wing buddies, I don't know. It's it's like he just he can't be honest with who he is. He can't accept who he is. He can't own who he is. So now he's just trying to do this. And it's just it just it's kind of disappointing and dare I say it a little bit pathetic. And I don't like saying that because again, I mean, I'm someone who you know has I even bought his first book. It was um, dangerous. I bought I bought his, I've done readings of his book on this channel. So. You know, my it's Milo is someone that I've enjoyed. Again, I haven't always agreed with him, but I've enjoyed him. You know, over the last few years. You know, it was around the time of the 2016 election, and I think for a lot of people my age, the 2016 election was really like their starting point for them getting interested in politics and whatnot and political stuff. And it was for me. And that's how I kind of discovered, like, you know, people like Milo, people like Ben Shapiro, Lauren Southern, you know, Blair White, uh, and, all, and a bunch of other anti-SJW channels and, you know, some more right-wing channels. Um, I'm not, and just to clarify, like, I'm not actually right-wing myself. I don't really consider myself a right-wing or conservative. Um, I'm certainly not left-wing. I think I would be pretty much in the center, maybe s slightly right-leaning. So, like, I guess vaguely center-right if you had to categorize me, if you must. Um, I would probably class my, classify myself as, like, a center-right or centrist libertarian, essentially. That's probably the most accurate 
categorization of me in terms of like my politics and whatnot. Um, but anyways, I mean, those are, I guess that's really all I have to say. Um, you know, I, I guess, you know, let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, if Milo, like I said, I mean, if Milo thinks this is the best decision in terms of his life and what he feels that he needs to do, that's fine. I'm not saying he can't do this. I mean, all the more power to him. I mean, I'll still, I'll still enjoy his critiques of, you know, feminism and, and certain topics, you know, and this doesn't take away, you know, I still think that Milo is, can be an entertaining guy. I think, I think that he is pretty, you know, generally smart. I think that he is, can be pretty entertaining. I think that he does make Still to this day, I think sometimes he makes good points. I do prefer older Milo before the fame kind of got to his head. I've went back and I've watched Milo from like 2015, 2016, and I liked his style better. Like, he was still kind of like, you know, the the showy kind of, you know, but he had a more like, you know, to the point and calm and collected. Well, not not to say that he isn't calm and collected like now or or hasn't been for the last few years, but... It's just back then he was more to the point. He was less about making a show and he was more about just laying down like, you know, arguments and whatnot. And I liked that Milo better, a lot better than the Milo we have now or even the Milo from like, you know, two, three, four years ago. I liked 2015, early 2016 Milo a lot more, in my opinion anyways. But anyways, that's all I have to say. I'm going to keep going on. So let me know what you guys think. Uh... And hopefully I can come back with another video because I would like to talk about the super straight stuff because I do have some opinions about it. But that's it for this one, and I'll hopefully be back at you guys soon. So peace and have a good day.